I helped rediscover a species which was thought to be going extinct. Bruno Bell knows a lot about snails. There are 11 families of uh, land snail in Tasmania. So I can give you an example. They're called dot snails. So there are two there? Two there, yeah, they're yep. the adults. For twin brother Otto, it's weevils. They were almost like transformers, their legs tucked in and their snout tucked in. These are all collected on the south coast track. I'm having two species named after me uh, of this tiny little leaf litter inhabiting weevil. The 21-year-old Tasmanians have turned a childhood passion for nature into what could become a promising career. Oh, is that a weevil? No. Oh, it is! What is it? Oh, it's, a little... oh, that's a bit... it's actually a really interesting one. What is it? It looks like tuckers. Oh, damn! Two of Tasmania's only experts on their preferred invertebrates, Otto and Bruno frequently take field trips together. I do a lot of photography and I generally do the collecting. Collections that end up in the mini museums that are their bedrooms. This one was found in Mauwa. It's a new species for today. Mauwa. Mauwa. Oh, so you really travel. Yeah, yeah, we go all over. He's not kidding. From the bush and beaches of Tasmania to the natural history museums of mainland Australia and even Europe, Otto and Bruno are well versed in species of the world. So how many genera do you think we're going to end up with? Simon Grove met the twins as teenagers when their mum asked if they could volunteer at the Tasmanian Museum's invertebrates collection. They can spot the tiniest weevil or a snail the size of a pinhead not only spot it, but then look at it without a, even so much as a hand lens and be able to say, oh, look at the, the microsculpture on the protoconch of that snail. The um, teleconch. He says it's not just their skills that have impacted him. They teach me all sorts of things, both about the, the, the zoological subjects and about human nature. And they're not only recognised by local experts, this is one of four letters Bruno's received from David Attenborough. I helped rediscover a species which was thought to be going extinct and to me it was very significant and so I sent photos and he responded. Weevil species are set to be named after the young researchers. Bruno Bellii and Otto Bellii, the tipped titles. I would have thought early after about 10 years or something I'd get someone like that but yeah it's a it's an honour really. The pair hope to identify the hundreds of weevil and snail species that remain undescribed in Tasmania, which could have impacts in Australian agriculture. Some of them are major pests, so if we learn more about them we can protect crops. And conservation. We have some really unique species here in Tasmania, which if they're gone, they're gone. Acorn is more a source of comfort than curiosity for the twins. The fox terrier is named after one of their first ever collections, but it's creatures far, far smaller that will always bond the bells. We'll always have that like shared interest and we'll help each other with research, but I think we'll go on separate paths. One day, perhaps a long way down the track. Alison Costello, ABC News.